and and she on she proves in the end that she's capable of of framing him so you can definitely pose this uh, this i talk about the the eye of the of the cow but you can talk about fr who frames who um and i think the the montage is is what what makes you what poses this question also and then i don't know if you want to go and see see how you frame someone from the legal point of view has a lot to do with the kind of narrative you construct yes. so it has to resort to sort of textualizing the other making it into some sort of a yes sort of narrative. yes definitely yeah she, uh, at the end of, I don't know if you've seen the movie, at the end of the movie, she, she goes out screaming, the, the gringo killed my father um, after she had poisoned him, her father. Can I ask a really quick question? Yeah, sure. Yes, no question. Mario Vargas Llosa, Claudio Llosa, are they related in any way? Yeah, she, she's uh, a, a niece of, of uh, Mario Vargas Llosa. Yes. <laughs> yeah, they're, uh, they're uh, related. Thank you. current country poverty and, uh, and um, differences between poor and wealthy these days. Um, oh, I'm sorry, the previous photo was, um, was um, um, one of the government buildings that was dis destroyed and now again they are rebuilding it. But again, remember, all of these are loans from, from other country. And what, what they will do to, to, to that poor country? They will devastate them in next 30 years when these loans would be expiring and, and the governments would be asking uh, money back. Uh, this is a current um, a logo and um, a flag of Bos Bosnia. Uh, when people ask me, what language do you speak? I say, um, I speak three languages. Three languages meaning, uh, and we kind of put, put them in alphabetical order just because of the affirmative action, like Bosnian, Croatian, Serbian. Actually, that's one language, but three different dialects. However, it is very important what you will say, what you, what you speak. I would never say that I speak Serbian. I speak Bosnian. Although, when I talk to Serbian, he understands me and I understand him. Maybe Serbian will use this, uh, in, in most cases they would use um, uh, Cyrillic. And um, now, when I see somebody writing Cyrillic, I kind of feel like, oh, I have to be on guard. But you know what, when I was, that's, that's stupid. Because when, when I was in a school, before you go to the first, for, first grade, uh, you have to uh, uh, um, learn how to read and write. And you have to read and write in two alphabets, in Cyrillic and in Roman alphabet, Latin letters. That was good for us to be, to know both. But now I'm thinking, oh man, he writes Cyrillic, oh. <laughs> so. What's and the origin of the word Herzegovina? Oh, I'm sorry. Herzegovina, for what I know, is, um, a, a, the translation would be f from the Duke. Mm -hmm. um, because I think in um, 14th century, uh, there was some kind of a, um, Herzog uh, Duke, who, um, who either liberated something or did something. But anyways, um, apparently I was not good in history of my own country. It's uh, a German word then. Yeah, yeah. So anyways, um, again, um, the 
this I really wanted to show you. You remember in the beginning I was showing you how small that Bosnia is? Oh, this shows how stupid people are. Okay, what do we have here? We have uh, borders that, that w stayed as a, as a Bosnia, as a, uh, uh, how it was within uh, former Yugoslavia. But now it comprises of Federation of Bosnia and Herzegovina, of Republika, Republika Srpska and the Bčko district. You see this here is um, Republika Srpska, this is a federation, and then there's some kind of enclave or whatever they call that for Bčko district. Um, boy, this is so small. <laughs> and, um, and let's say um, here was Sarajevo. And, uh, and long before war, my dad bought some land over here. I will show you later on the photo of that place. Um, it, was a, it was a mill. Um, and and he, he really did a good job. He preserved the mill. And we had a huge millstone and water coming you know, through, the, through the living room. And you could fish from the window. <laughs> Um, and it was really a, 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 a beautiful place. Well, uh, my mom, and I told you my mom survived, and um, um, over the years my mom was going back because she told me there's one thing I really want to do before I die is to, to get back some of the, some of the property that, that we had. Okay, she managed to get that um, that property, but she told me that um, there was no way how she could get to the to that mill to the house because flora grew so much that they had to cut it like with machetes to 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 get to get to there. Um, and um, and now I can say again, I have a mill. So if somebody needs some flour, I'm here. <laughs> if I ever go back, okay. Now, this, this uh, shows cantons. All of this is actually separated by this little canton. Canton means that there's an internal government governing that area. And this shows municipalities. You know, there's, there's like this one, you can walk through it like an hour. Anyways. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Uh, in um, in the northern part of Bosnia, there's uh, there are plains. This the rest of the Bosnia, like like this here, is very mountainous. But um, but the, uh, actually, that was good for the industry of Bosnia because there was a lot of natural resources, like you know uh, rivers for uh, hydro energy um, and coal um, and other. Um, um, natural resources. Again, some fo I, I, I'm just amazed like how they separated this little country. It's just, look at this. Okay, uh, this is money, and this is that Ivo Andrich, that Nobel winner, uh, writer of, um, of a book. Um, huh, 200 convertible marks. This is, uh, uh, average salary, monthly salary. Uh, maybe like $350. Unfortunately, you just don't get that 200 because government does not have enough of these to give you your salary. And God forbid if you are retired. First, you don't have a retirement because it's a government you know, run. Um, but they still want you to pay electricity and phone and water. And it's not good to be retired there. That's why I'm, I, will, I will work and retire here. Okay. 
I'm just showing these photos just to see, just to tell you that um, life is coming back. Um, again, government buildings are the ones that uh, built the first and renovated the first. Um, I'm very pleased that you know some of the uh, cultural things like a national theater is uh, uh, at the at the very beginning um, chosen to be renovated. Um, these are uh, our two office buildings in Sarajevo, and they were um, they they were burned um, during the war. I used to live um, right right here. And I, uh, I saw them burn. I thought when I came here in the United States, I, I was saved. I, you know, I can live my life again. And then September 11 happened. I don't know if, if you see similarity. <laughs> but I, I came home. And you know, you, you all of you remember that everything was televised, and you know, and my mom was frantic. She was looking at me. And she said, "Do you have that sense in your mouth?" And I said, "Yes, I do." The sense in the mouth is horror of a dust, of a blood, of a destruction that I am sure New Yorkers felt. Uh, when the towers fell down. Okay, um, life going on. And in Sarajevo, again, there will be people who will go to mosques. There will be people who will go to Orthodox Church. There are people who will go to cathedral and people who will go to the um, synagogue. Remember? The first photo that I showed you, how all these four buildings are on one square. Well, people have to live together again. I hope that tourism will attract people to Bosnia. Because it's a really beautiful, beautiful country. And I'm just hoping that, you know, uh, uh, they didn't store a nuclear waste while, <laughs> while we were, um, were uh, having the war. Um, but the country is beautiful. And it's really not by, by chance that our origins are from those Bogomils. Remember at the beginning I was talking about them, those who were uh, dear to God, those who, whose God was a nature. So you destroy the buildings, you build them. But this, this water, and th this is, by the way, the place where I have that mill. Um, you can still drink this water. And as I said, I hope that the tourism will be the one who will save my country. Again, with a little bit of access to Adriatic coast and uh, pleasures of sunbathing on the beach. Thank you very much. Wasn't that very informative? Uh, I know that we all appreciate Diana sharing all that information with us. Any questions you have for Diana? Okay, yes. I always find it necessary to respond when I hear the comment that if women were running things, we'd have a much more peaceful See? world. And a man is asking right. about that. I, I mean, I don't, in this country where women have risen to high positions in the business world, um, I don't think that's brought about more humane workplaces. Essentially, women have gotten there by um, 
aping the most uh, despicable traits in their male counterparts to rise in the business world. And I think the same thing would happen if women were to rise to higher positions in statehood. I mean, and mm -hmm. a, an example might be if, heaven forbid, Hillary Clinton should be next president of the United States. I don't think we'd have a more peaceful world. So. Uh, I respectfully disagree. <laughs> But thank you for your comment. Uh, what I was trying to say is that there's more um, motherhood aspect in every female. And that motherhood aspect is actually uh, making you think differently when you are making a very uh, 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 important decision. I, I'm not saying that the Hillary will be the best. Um, <laughs> But I would really like to see a black woman there. I would like to see a, a female be a president of the United States. Not again, not, you know. No. <laughs> um, yes. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. Um, it's a kind of long and, 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 oh, I'm sorry. Question was like what happened with my father and with my um, um, husband. It's a really very, very sad and long story. Uh, my father died at the very beginning of the war. Um, he was actually, uh, uh, he had the lung cancer. He got the lung cancer right before the war. And I, I don't know if you can imagine being the, a cancer uh, patient in a country that didn't have any medication. Um, I, I mean, we were actually uh, praying for him to die, to, to end his suffering. And we were able to, uh, to bury my, my dad in, in the family, uh, uh, how do you say that, family? Plot. Plot, Plot yeah. Um, However, because we, uh, my mom told me, I, I never went back, but my mom told me, uh, because we were atheists, uh, the part of the graveyard where my father was buried uh, suffered so much destruction um, from the people who believe in God. Um, um, that we really don't know now where is his grave. However, my husband, my husband, and I will really be very short because I, I want you to, um, to kind of have a, um, a sense of how life can be strange. Um, um, my husband was a well-known um, writer, freelance writer and a journalist in, in Bosnia. And as a family, we were put on extermination list because of our progressiveness. So when I decided, you know, I, I told you the story, when I decided to leave, um, uh, it was, we were caught by Serbians and blah, 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 blah. Uh, however, uh, my husband joined me um, uh, 13 months later. We came together here, but because of everything that happened to us, um, I like to say we, we were not able to wake up any, any longer and share our dreams. And that's what we were doing before the war. Um, my husband became an alcoholic, then drug user. I, um, I divorced him because I could not financially support his addiction. Um, he then... Um, uh, he found a woman, he had a child with her, uh, but still he, he could not find himself here. At one point of time, he was a homeless junkie in Seattle. And he called me and he said, I, I need to go back to Sarajevo because that's where I belong. And I helped him, uh, he went back and he died there. Yes, I, I'm sorry there was a question before you hear. Yes. Um, I was in Croatia last uh, September uh, in, uh, in places like Dubrovnik, 
which had been seriously damaged during the war, uh, had been uh, rebuilt uh, with aid from the United Nations. Did they not extend any of that aid to uh, Bosnia? Uh, they, they did. Can you repeat the question? Oh, I'm sorry. Um, the, the, the lady was saying that she uh, was in Croatia, that was a neighboring republic uh, of Bosnia last year, and she was in one of the marvelous places, which is Dubrovnik. And Dubrovnik um, uh, was heavily bombarded during the war, but United Nations uh, helped fund uh, a renovation of that city. Um, yes, they did. They did to Bosnia, and you remember that bridge? Uh, that's what United Nations funded, and um, yeah, like like a like a national theater or something like that. And then another little story in that connection. We had we we were taking a cruise along the coast and stopped at ten different towns and cities in Croatia, and uh, each place we got a guide who gave us a tour of the town. One guy, they told us she was from Montenegro. Before she even started her spiel about the town, she said in a very emotional voice, the Serbs did nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what they say. <laughs> I'm sorry, the lady was saying, you know, the, um, there's something, I, I think, in their brain that, that didn't click correctly. Uh, they are, even now, they are saying, we did not do anything wrong. Serbs. I mean, uh, remember that comparison, 300 millions and 72 millions? Well, yeah, well, we didn't do anything. Thank you very much, and thank you for going to Croatia, and please go to Bosnia. It's a, it's a beautiful country. Um, yeah. Um, um, oh, I'm sorry. Yes. I'm, I'm still unclear on what actually started all the fighting. Uh, the question. I just said I'm unclear as to what actually started sure. all the fighting. Sure. No, that's. Uh, I will be repeating the questions, so uh, we will save the trip. Um, me neither. <laughs> uh, do we know what started war in Iraq? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh. Lies. Oh. Fake documents. Uh, all of these things happened in my country too. You don't know. Why would you know? The government doesn't want you to know. There's a bigger plan. And, you know, you are just a citizen. So, really, not to, make, not to be philosophical, but I really don't know. In my opinion, it was devastated economy uh, that, that overburdened a survival of its citizens. And at that point, as I said, it was really easy to pinpoint on somebody else and say, he is the cause of your misery. And as, as, as developing that, uh, you can easily have what they will uh, say here in the United States religious war. Are, are we in a, a crusade war uh, evangelistical against Muslim Islam? I don't know. No. See? Yes. What was the difference on the teacher one way after teacher? <laughs> Tito. Uh, the, the, the question was what was uh, before Tito and after the Tito. Uh, um, before, while Tito was, was uh, our president, we had uh, uh, 40 years, yeah, 40 years of um, peaceful, what they called bro brotherhood and unity. Uh, that was the motto of the country. Um, um, I was uh, watching the other day on the TV, um, oh man, WPA, is that the program that was after this? Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, and reminded me, really, of what Yugoslavia was. Um, that's what, 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 what we were. Unfortunately, and I don't know, again, 
Um, how much that is truth, how much is not, I really, I don't go in, the, in there. Um, people were saying that uh, Tito had a strong hand and he was eliminating his enemies. Um, uh, we had stories in, uh, in the media about uh, 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 imprisoning the nationalists. The nationalists who are bringing up their individual uh, ideas about everybody else, while the rest of the country is under this unity and brotherhood. So those were the ones who were in a prison during the 70s. Those came out of the prison during the 80s, and all of a sudden they were parties, uh, presidents, and they were the, the government that, that ruled after Tito died. I know that we all want to learn more and uh, hear more about what Diana has experienced, but because of time limits, we can have one more question. Um, yes. You had said that you were in a refugee camp for 13 months. Was that a United Nations refugee camp? Um, no, it was run by um, um, Croatian military. Um, it, it wasn't uh, imprisonment, but, um, but anybody who was in a camp was not allowed to go outside. And uh, I will share just a brief story. Um, we had a visitation from, uh, from I don't know,